In this problem, we're told an elastic cord is 65 centimeters long when a weight of 75 newtons hangs from it, but is 85 centimeters long when a weight of 180 newton hangs from it. What is the spring constant K of this elastic cord? So we're given two different scenarios here, so let's just draw them out. So imagine this is the first one. So we have this uh, elastic cord. We know it's 65 centimeters long, and it's going to have some weight hanging from it. So this is going to be the weight, and it's going to be a weight of 75 newtons. And then we have another scenario, right, with... Uh, it's going to be 85 centimeters long, so this one's 85, so a little bit longer. And then it's going to have a weight with uh, 180 newtons, right? So this is 75 or 85 centimeters long. And so what we're trying to calculate here is the spring constant K of this elastic cord. So these are our elastic cords, and we're trying to calculate K, right? So how do we solve for K? So according to Hooke's law, we can relate K with force and distance. So essentially, it tells us F equals Kx force is equal to the constant k times x which is the distance it uh the distance of the cord like the length of the cord and so we're given two different scenarios here so what we have to do is calculate the change in it so essentially the change in the force is equal to k times the change in the distance right but we're trying to solve for k so we want to get k by itself and we can do that just by dividing both sides by the change in x so essentially in this uh this scenario uh the k is equal to the change in force over the change in distance Right, so we have uh, the forces, right? We have 180 newtons and 75, but these need to be in meters because we're going to have uh, newton and meters because uh, we measure a K in newton meters. So this needs to be in new, uh, meters and not centimeters. So if we convert it, uh, 65 centimeters is 0.65 meters. You should know how to convert that by now, but essentially you just divide by 100 because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So this one's just going to be 0.85 meters. So now we've got both of them. We can just go ahead and plug it in. So K is going to be equal to the change in force. So the force in the second scenario is 180 newtons minus 75 newtons over uh, the length here is 0.85 meters minus 0.65 uh, meters. So just go ahead and do this 180 minus 75 divided by 0.85 uh, minus 0.65. So when you do this, you're going to get it equals 525, and then the units are going to be Newton over meters, right? So Newton over meters. So 525 uh, Newton over meters, uh, so that's going to be uh, K, right? So the spring constant K of this elastic cord is 525. Uh, yeah, so this right here is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.